Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing wonderful. I'm doing great myself. So today I'm going to share a story about a father and a son in honor of Father's Day that's coming up. The story uh, was uh, written by a, an US author named Roy Popkins uh, in 1964. And this was also published in the uh, September issue of uh, Reader's Digest in 1965. And this author comes from uh, the Second World War and Korean War time. So I'm assuming this is a uh, story from, uh, you know, one of those wars. Um, I did try to validate if this is a true story or a work of fiction, but um, I just couldn't get anything definite. So I'm just assuming it's true maybe not um, but it is so inspiring and it's got such a uh, strong message uh, it does have a sad ending um, but you know um, that's life uh, so please watch this video till the end um, it'll just uh, give you a different perspective of life so the story goes like this um, a young uh, US Marine uh, walks into um, this hospital uh, he is very tired and exhausted and uh, the nurse uh, sees the young man coming in and then without saying much uh, takes him directly to this one um, a hospital room uh, where a, a elderly man is um, lying on the bed uh, surrounded by an oxygen tent and the nurse goes close to the um, elderly man and says your son is here and the man does not respond because he just was recovering from a massive um, heart attack so he was in a lot of pain so the nurse had to uh, repeat it a uh, few times until the man kind of uh, the elderly man uh, was able to hear her and then open his eyes faintly uh, the room was um, dim and uh, surrounded by the oxygen tank um, the elderly man just could kind of see uh, his son you know kind of a silhouette right so then um, the elderly man uh, or the dad extends his hand toward this young man and he does the sa same and he wraps his hand around gives him a little squeeze and the elderly man responds to that the nurse leaves and the man is just holding his dad's hand and standing there and um, you know time goes by uh, the nurse uh, comes back after a while um, to notice that um, you know the young man really had not moved at all and he's still holding and the nurse could hear a very faint voice of him telling his dad uh, some kind words some loving words and some words of encouragement and strength and the nurse um, offered him a chair um, so now the young man sat on the chair and still holding his dad's hand um, the nurse just goes in and out um, and then um, you know several hours goes by she comes back to the room again and notices that this young man is totally oblivious to what is going on around that room and outside the room so there is that noise of the oxygen tank running um, the night staff of the uh, hospital you know they're just cracking jokes or talking loud laughing um, there are other patients around the um, hospital ward that they are just moaning in pain and nothing impacted this man this young man and he just you know sat there still holding his dad's hand and uh, saying those very soft and kind words um, so now um, it's getting to be morning so right around dawn um, the, the elderly man died and so this young, na uh, young uh, marine um, let go of the lifeless hand and um, walks up to the nurse and gives her the news and um, just patiently waited because the nurse had to do some paperwork to um, you know for the for the hospital and then once nurse finished the paperwork she comes back and um, tries to 
say a few words of sympathy uh, to this young man. And um, the young man just stops her right in the middle and says, uh, ask the nurse, who was that person? And the nurse was just like shocked. What do you mean who was that person? That was your dad. And then he says, no, I have never seen this uh, person in my life before. And then he says to the nurse uh, that I came here to look for a William Gray because his son died in the war today and I was sent here to give him that news. And um, the nurse says that was William Gray. Um, I'm just having goosebumps, you know, narrating this story and I did have tears uh, when I was reading this story. And um, so the nurse and the Marine both stood there, just stand still. Um, the Marine didn't even shed a tear. Uh, the nurse was crying and um, they just shook hands and he left. So, um, what this tells is that regardless of the relationship, um, that elderly man that day had the best Father's Day. And if we can help someone uh, in this type of situation, you basically made his life. The man died holding his son's hand, whereas in reality, this person was not his son. So what? He had that feeling and um, he died happily. So this is heavy. Um, just wanted to share this and um, let me know um, in the comments below um, how you like this story and I um, will come back with another story another day until then happy Father's Day fathers are very special love your dad and do something special for your dad